Maj Tarang is the daughter of the official portrait painter of Vietnamese leader Ho Chi Minh. Now living in Sweden, she's followed her father's footsteps and is now a celebrated painter. Rick Wasserman went to meet her. Four decades ago, Vietnam's northern capital, Hanoi, lay in ruins, tens of thousands killed. Artist Mai Trang lived there, survived, and was on hand to show some of her paintings. Mai moved to Sweden in 1990, looking for something she says she's found. Freedom! <laughs> she started a new life in the small town of Orebro in southern Sweden. Vietnam, though distant, is always on her mind. <laughs> when I 16, 15, I remember in 12, 12 days in Hanoi bombing. In sky, a lot of fire. During the war, Mai Trang's father was the official portrait painter of the Vietnamese leader Ho Chi Minh. Mai's brothers took lessons from their father, but she was shut out. I learn only I hear them talking. My father say, if you paint by eye, you must take slowly, painting many times. I hear them teach my brother how to make the form, the line. I only hear, because my father not interested in the girl. Only teaching for the man, the, my brother, but not not teach for me. My learned by experimenting and has come up with a style that's uniquely her own. Part abstract, part naivistic, and part traditional. She has regular exhibitions in Sweden and in Italy, where she'll be heading off soon. I have a uh, exhibition four times in Italy. I have one gallery in the Venice. They are collection my art, and many people in Italy they collection collection my art. Mai lives a different life now, but reflects often on the past, the suffering during her childhood. I don't have a lion at home. I used to buy oil. This is a lamb. For learning is school, I don't have a shoe either, I go by foot. So much has now changed in Vietnam. The economy is booming and along with it, a huge tourist industry. Some old restrictions are being lifted. I think it's uh, very different now, because Vietnam now open. Mai has plans for the future and they include going back to Hanoi. When winter time in Sweden, cold in snow, come back in Vietnam six months. That's my dream, my dream. From Sweden, this is Rick Wasserman for Asia Column. And that's all for this edition of Asia Calling, your window on Asia. For more stories from our correspondents around the region, visit our website at portalkbr.com. I'm Rebecca Henschke. Thanks for your company. Goodbye for now.